What's going on everybody? It's your boy John for the Game Video here. Welcoming you back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Gen Lock. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. I am myself. Um, last episode, we caught a hoo-hoo in Pokemon Ultra Moon. Uh, of course, I titled that because, you know, it's kind of in the running meme on the channel. But anyway, hopefully you guys are doing fun. Let me know in the comment section below how well you're doing. Make sure to leave a like as well. Let's try and push this in the YouTube algorithm a little bit here because we are to what? D8 subs away from 1K and our 1K celebratory celebration. So let's get into a quick team recap as we still haven't lost Mons um, in the last couple episodes, um, which is amazing. So we got, I mean, of course, we've lost like six Mons in total or seven Mons in total, but like in the last four, no, since Guzma was the last time we lost Mons. So that's awesome. We got Drake with the cheek pouch ability holding that amulet coin with Sparkling Aria, Psychic Yawn, and Dragon Dance. We have UnQ with Giga Drain, Shadow Ball, Cotton. Garden Discharge with that Liquid Ooze ability. We got Nick with the Beast Boost with the EV Light, Photon Geyser, Moon Geyser Beam, Earth Power, and Amnesia. We have Daddy the Machamp with that Sacred Sword, Brick Brick, Liquidation, and Cotton Guard. We got Feta because he's got a Feta Sweep with Dazzling Gleam, Discharge, Waterfall, and Moon Blast. And last but not least, we got Sandy the Best Bulldog in the I don't know, I can't even think. The best Bulldog, anyway, with Liquidation, Headbutt, Moon Blast, and Dragon Claw. With that weak armor ability, lowering its defense, but doubling its speed, which is awesome. So, that is the team right now. I think that our team is in a decent spot, because we just beat the 6th Totem. So, we got, we got some work to do. We have a fight against Plumeria coming up here, and that's going to be a little bit of an issue. But today, it's a wonderful, cloudy, and 69-degree day, which is totally fantastic, not gonna lie. Um, but you know who I would 69? I would 69 Daddy and Machamp any day of the week. Tell me uh, tell me when he's available, and uh, I can totally, um, you know, I can hit him up real quick, and, you know... <laughs> anyway, a uh, weird, weird topic line, but that's uh, kind of how we're gonna start today's video. I... I'm in a mood today, so don't be surprised in the next couple episodes, you see a little bit more <laughs> assertive, John. <laughs> I will say that. <laughs> what a what an interesting way to put it, but you know what? It's because it's content, and you know, sometimes it's good. Um, But realistically though oh, I, I i i need a man in my life i'm not gonna lie i can't even i can't even short with you i i just need a wholesome strong command in my life and we'll be good um and i say wholesome because you know have to be nice you can't just whip me into shape and then be like not nice you know but anyway we got boom area <laughs> i'm talking about the weirdest subject in the video today um it's okay you know <laughs> it happens but yeah like uh there's so many like memes and stuff but, like i could go over them again but who wants me to go over memes for the 3000th time we got Plumeria, though. Plumeria is going to be out here having a good time. She's probably going to lead with... L oh, it's Big Uzi! We're leading off with a Big Uzi. That's fine. Daddy takes care of that. Because you're a special attacker. Or you're a physical attacker. So I'm going to set up and hopefully... Oh, you've got Wing Attack. Why do you have Wing Attack? Why in the world... Do you have wing attack? So wait. Oh, Chris gonna ignore that defense buff too, so a crit will actually kill me. What a start. Okay, come on. Don't don't kill daddy. You're not allowed to kill daddy. There we go. Let's go! 30 damage. Okay. So now I feel safe to Sacred Sword and hopefully do a decent amount of damage. As you're level 42. Because naturally you have to be like super ridiculously high leveled. Um Wow, that does happen. It's because, like, Plumeria and everybody, like, and everybody around them is less. Okay, well, even a crit won't, well, a crit will kill because it ignores the defense buff. But, let's go! Bye, Electivire. Have a great day! Uh, we got Electivire out the way. Jeez, but all these, like, 6v6 trainer battles are getting really high up there in levels, and it's kind of scary. Sunflora. 
I don't think we really have much for you, do we? No, we really don't. Okay. <laughs> Dottie's still kind of the best the best thing out here for that. Um, I'm assuming we're going to see a special move. Um, unfortunately, I don't want to see a special move. But if there's any kind of move that I expect to see, it would be a special move. Uh, seed Flare. I Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. We, we literally did a team recap and already forgot we had Sap Zipper. Let's freaking go. Yeah, we can just... We could have Cotton Guard again, but I oofed that. Well, we actually might still be able to Cotton... Nope. John messed up. But we're at plus one attack and plus three. We will take those. Those are definitely Ws that we want to take. And a Blastoise, boom. Because um, you know what? If we can take the Ws, why not get the Ws? You know, that's how I feel, at least. Um, this is not going to kill. I can tell you that. Ooh, Let's go! Not attacking me. We'll take it. But anyway... Yeah, no, I am very Taurus-y today. <laughs> Again, random ways to say things. Um, because I'm super Taurus-y today, um, I definitely am longing for special attention. <laughs> this is such a weird episode. We're going there today. Um... So yeah, so I'm longing for this special attention, and it's just weird, because I, I am not a naturally sexual being, and so because of this, my brain goes, and when my brain is in the gutter, as is such today, it doesn't compute, <laughs> I guess, um, and so, like, my brain's like, like, okay, I gotta find a man, gotta find a guy, gotta find a cute guy. But, like, of course, I'm not, like, a hit-and-run kind of person either. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, uh, you know, uh, I'm sure, like, everybody's gonna be like, we don't need to know this. But it's okay. <laughs> this is... But anyway, so, like, I wanna, I don't, I, because I've, I've, I'm still a virgin. So, like, I still haven't had. The, the lovely, as people say. Um, and... Oh, flamethrower's gonna hurt. <sighs> Actually, not that much. Okay. Um, so because of that, I go on kind of tangents, and, like, I want perfection, but I'm never gonna get perfection, and I gotta realize that. Flamethrower and sludge bomb. And... Oh, shit. Daddy... Oh, God. Um. Don't have pursuit. That's all I ask. Just don't have pursuit. Woo! Okay. Let's not die. We're on par again. Like, I swear. Oh, shit. I'm dumb. That's my own fucking fault. That's my own fucking fault. But hey, at least... Bright side. That's one of our repeat typings. And... It's second gen. And we have a lot of backup in that regard. Um, so, <laughs> terrible bright side. I do know that. But if there is a bright side, that is one. Um, is that it could have been worse. It, and we don't, use, we don't use Sandy often enough. It's better to lose Sandy rather than Daddy. That's all I'm going to say. Better to lose Sandy rather than Daddy. Also, that's a Quagsire. We can go to unQ you on that, and we should be fine there. Um, But, yeah, be, we're at the point now where things are starting to hurt us quickly and hard, harder than ever. You know, just like Daddy. <laughs> oh, my God. There's too much today. There's too much of that today. My God. This is how you can tell that I'm in the mood. Yeah, you definitely don't want me to go to work, Brie. I'm, well, my sister texted me. And she's like, well, this person called out. Are you able to come in today? Because apparently my, because my sister's trading to be a lead in a freaking store that I've worked there for three years, but okay. Um, and like, I've done way more downstairs work and stuff. Not jealous at all. Um, but Oh, Photom Geyser. 
Like, I'm not actually that jealous. I'm just like, bruh. It's it's more so just the bruh moment. Also, Dazzling Gleam is so good, though. Photom Geyser is the one that... Oh, it's the good one. Did I get another Waterfall? Waterfall's coverage, though. I think I get rid of Dazzling Gleam, to be honest. Yeah, I do. Again, Fitter needs to fit a sweep, and Dazzling Gleam does not help with that. Um, Bayonet is going to be the final Pokemon, which we actually struggle against. Okay. I'm kind of interested to see how this goes. We do struggle against this Mon. If it's a Mega, we could be in a big trouble. It might be, but it doesn't look like it will be. Electric Surge... That is good. That actually powers up. So that gives all of my... It gives Moonblast and Discharge Stab. I'm going to go ahead and Discharge them. Because I think Discharge is going to be doing more. Trick or Treat. Ooh, I'm a ghost. Oh, God. I just turned into a Fairy Ghost. Ooh, is there any Fairy Ghost types? I'm curious. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, nice. We got the pair up. Is there any Fairy Ghost types in Pokemon? Long story short, John's a dumbass. <laughs> we just got past the Mimi Q trial. <laughs> I'm like, is there any ghost Mimi types? Oh my god. I'm so curious. Literally, Mimi Q John. Oh my god. Okay. Nick. I hate to do this. I hate to do this. But it's time. It's time, I think, to get Nick to evolve. Things are starting to fall apart. And I need a more usable Pokemon. I don't want to. I don't want to, but I think desperate times mean desperate measures. And I'm going to go ahead and evolve Nick. And hope that that benefits us, but I, I'm i scared because it has an, a great chance of hurting us more than it helped us. But it needed to happen. He's been falling off because he literally can't do enough damage. This is going to help him do more damage. The thing is, is that the Mon is supposed to be a trapper. And if it can't trap, I'm noticing that it doesn't do very well if it can't trap. Because, again, it is. That's what its role is. It's a trapper. That's why it has Shadow Tag and stuff like that. But I could play it as a special Mon. We get a rare free rare candy. That's fine. Again, there's a really some determining factors here. Long reach. Didn't get a bad ability. And definitely beefed up its stats. To the point of which. To the point of which it was worth it. Probably. Do we have anything to help with? It sucks. Doing that. But knowing that it was needed, I guess, is a good thing. We can teach Drake Earthquake over Yawn. I don't use Yawn often enough to really... Oh, well, actually, no. But yeah, let's see if we have any form of thing that can help. Spell tag will help me, oh. Moon Guys Beams... It's kind of the one I use the most often. Yeah, let's go ahead and put the spell tag on. It does help Moon Geist Beam enough where I feel like it's warranted. And so... 
because I feel like it's warranted. It should be good enough in theory. Oh, I have to find a replacement, though, for Sandy, which is going to suck. It's, I don't want to find a replacement for Sandy. I wish I didn't have to find a Sandy replacement, but it is, and it does need to be done. Um, Unfortunately. Why is Jinx in the wrong spot? Oh, no, Jinx is in the right spot. Okay. Yeah, look at our depth. Yeah, that's number seven. Okay, that's why I thought, but... And you have the expert belt, so held item... Take the expert belt, because that's actually a really good item. And I actually might give that to Nick. So we need Gen 2. So her, As much as I would say our options are limited, but they aren't really limited. There's one mod and one mod only that I can choose. And that would be Mega Tyranitar. So if I didn't pick Mega Tyranitar, who would I be? It's Adamant Natured with Solar Power as an ability, which is... Really kind of hot garbage, but it's something. Um, okay, let's look at some TMs though, because damn, you're level 31. Oh, you were one of the um, yeah, I know, it, I know why you're level 31. Okay, so we got Sacred Sword, that is a physical fighting move. Which I'll teach over a wide guard. That's all I can teach you, really? I could teach you sand attack. Whoa, such a powerful move. Um, but we're almost there. We're, we get to go to Route 16 and get our encounter there, and then we can end the episode. Um, that seems like a kind of nice place to end it off. Um, in my eyes. Um, but yeah, like... There really is nothing much that we can do left. We have to get our team, I would say, probably up to 40... Mid-40s? If I were to give an exact, I would say probably mid-40s. Which is kind of crazy to think about that we have to go to mid-40s already. Um... But I mean, if you look at it, mid forties isn't that bad. It's like, like when I mean, when I mean mid forties, I mean like forty six across the board, um, to really stay alive in the race, like especially against these important trainer battles who seem to be kind of kicking it up a notch here. Um, normal fighting, we can go ahead and sacred sword you, um, because yeah, even these trainers are level forty now, so. Yeah, I think we really need to go to 40. Like, things are really starting to kick up. Why did it... Why did I have a sticky barb? What was the point? <laughs> why Why do I have that? Interesting. Um, I guess I got it somehow and just... How did I get that? When did I attain that? I don't remember ever having that. Oh, I never mind. I know exactly how I attained it. That's a that's a very weird series of events. Hello? So I attacked first. What the fudge? I attacked first. Picking up the sticky barb for it to attack me, pickpocketing the sticky barb, which didn't really matter because it would have picked up the sticky barb as well. And then, what the? F wow. Okay, that's a that's a weird series of events that I would have never kind of laid claim to until I just put it put it together. What the? Wow. Okay. Should have never attacked it with a physical move after I knew that, but that's all I had. Weird. Okay, Daddy's level 45 out here trying to die. We don't want Daddy to die. Daddy. If Daddy dies, I don't know how I would react. I'm going to be honest. I, Daddy's been one of my favorite mons on the team, and I think forever will be one of my favorite mons on the team. So I think if 
see, oh, the seed barb's gone. Yep, that's exactly how it was attained then. Ha <laughs> ha weird. Weird. Okay, that was a very weird way to attain it. But yeah, if daddy dies, um, watch out, world. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Um... So, when it comes to the rare candy, I am going to go ahead and rare candy Daddy, because I'd use Daddy way too much not to, and Daddy just leveled up literally. So, Daddy's now level 46, kind of the level we want to play and be around. Um, yeah, weird. Okay, so we want to be around level 46. Um, I don't know what level uh, whatever his name is going to be, in, though. Like, he actually... Huh, he actually might be, uh... Like, close to 50s. And I'm talking about, uh, whatever his... I can't think of his name to save my life again. Um... Dude, Guzma. Yeah, I want to see what level Guzma is going to be. Because if Guzma is going to be close to 50, then and we're going to fight Guzma here in two episodes, I would say. Because um, we go to Route 16, we end the episode, we get our encounter. Dude, we might actually fight Guzma next episode. Oh, shit. Yeah, Guzma might actually be next episode. Um, Don't necessarily know how good of a thing that might be, but it... Okay, we're going to max repel this, though, because we're going to get to the next area, because now that we have another, or now that we have a mega, we have to make it sure that we make it. To the spots. Nice! Look at us! Whoa! Look at that spin! Okay, anyway, that was a... Again, we're here, we're back, we're where we need to go. That was very quick and easy. And this is a great spot, I think, to end today's episode. If you guys liked this episode, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And tell us how you liked it and what you felt. Um, in the next episode, we will indeed be taking on Guzma, probably. Like, or at least getting close to Guzma. Which means I definitely gotta look at Guzma's levels, because Guzma's levels might actually be pretty intense for us right now. Which means we might have to train before we go into the next episode. But again, we love you all. Have a fantastic rest of your night. Peace out, y'all.